Hey there digital friends welcome back to digital visions and in this video I am going to show you about the Android 13 stable update which is released for the nothing phone 1. As you can see here this is the stable update which is nothing but the nothing OS 1.5.2. So this update is currently released for the beta users whereas it will be rolling out to the other users in the coming days. As this is an incremental update for the beta users, the update size is around 157 MB. So if you are on Android 12, the update size will be around 1.5 GB. So I waited for a day to see if any kind of major bug present here and even company also want to check before the release to all the users. That's why they only release this update currently to the beta users and regarding other users, it will be rolling out soon. So I will be showing you what you will be getting with the Android 13 stable update very quickly and then give you the review of this stable update. So I am speeding up this process of installation. So now the stable update has been installed successfully and now let's see what we'll be getting the features in this stable ROM compared to Android 12 and then let's see the review. So the first thing is regarding the weather app, we'll be getting this app in the Android 13 update and it also gives us features like the UV index, humidity etc. So we can also use a fixed location to see the temperature or we can use it with the continuous location monitoring. So not only that but if you tap on the weather widget on the whole screen it will directly open the app with the current city. So in the customization the first thing is regarding the glyph ringtones and notification sounds you will be getting 10 new notification sounds and 11 new ringtones. So I am not going into the deep with all the features I just want to show you what we will be getting with the Android 13 update. So if you go to the wallpaper and style from the customization settings as you can see now we will be getting 8 new wallpapers from the nothing. So we can apply it from the home screen and lock screen. So these are present from the beta itself. And after that as you can see there are more color options now available in the Android 13 update. So these color options will be based from the wallpaper which you have chosen in the home screen and lock screen. And after that regarding the icon pack as you can see we will be getting a themed icons but even after the stable update some icons are not adapting to the themed icons. As you can see Amazon book my show they are still in the old icon format. So this themed icons is not working properly I hope they improve this. Or it's better if you use any third party icon packs if you want to change the icons in your home screen. And now if you go to display lock screen and now you can change the lock screen shortcut customization. As you can see I have kept the shortcuts as torch and camera. And now in the improved experience I mentioned about the changes in the quick toggle of the internet as you can see it now shows how much data we have used and we can directly get a pop up if you click on the internet toggle and we can also use it to quickly change the internet after dual sim if you are using. This feature is really nice and it's helpful. And after that we will be getting a QR scanner now as you can see a new QR style here directly we can access here. It opens the Google Lens to scan the QR code. But the thing which I really like is they implemented the QR scanning actually in the camera app. As you can see currently I am scanning the QR codes using the camera app and this is they introduced it with the new stable Android 13 update. So as you can see it's clearly showing and if you tap on that it will directly redirect to the corresponding link which you will be getting with the QR code. So if the QR code is regarding the text then it will automatically copy if you click on the QR code. After that now go to apps and then select any app like chrome and as you can see now we can set a language for this app. So in this way we can use different languages for different apps and currently this is only supported for the few apps. And in the visual improvement section as you can see we will be getting a new media control which put the album art on the full display with a wider set of music controls. So not only regarding the music controls we can also change the audio device from which we want to listen to the music 
directly from this media control page. So they mentioned regarding the improved volume setting as you can see now we can directly increase or decrease the volume of the ringtone notifications or alarms directly without going into the settings. LL in Android world will be getting a pop up and here we can access these directly from the lock screen also. So the next thing is regarding the gaming mode so this is the default gaming mode which we will be getting in the pixels also so we will be having a minimal kind of notifications when playing game but the thing which I didn't like is they removed the fixed brightness option present in Android 12. So if you are moving and playing simultaneously then the brightness will go on changing and we have to adjust the brightness while playing the game. And then we have the smoother animations while transition between the display on and off as you can see the animations are pretty smooth compared to the Android 12. So not only the animation the responsiveness is also very good when we are unlocking and locking the screen. And after that they mentioned regarding the more refined camera app interface. So if I see compared to the Android 12 the font is much thinner in the Android 13. So except that I didn't see any kind of visible change in the camera app. So this session is difficult to show you guys. So first we will be getting the safety app which is from the Google directly. So if you press the power button 5 times it will enable this emergency mode. So we have to cancel otherwise it will be sending SMSs to the contacts which you have added in this app. So regarding the other privacy features like getting an alert when clipboard is accessed and all which I can't be showing you practically here. So coming to the system performance, the first thing they mention is regarding the fingerprint animations. So they are saying that they have improved it by 12% but I feel that the fingerprint sensor is still slow. So when you try to unlock the screen after you lock the screen, it is slow but if you are on the lock screen, the animation is fast. So overall I felt the fingerprint sensor is still slow. So the next thing is regarding the app opening speed so in the android 12 when i tested it took almost 20 seconds to open the game but in android 13 it took almost like 15 seconds to open the game so it's not like a major improvement but the speed has been increased and app opening time has been reduced So the next thing they have mentioned is regarding the standby power optimization as you can see the, it is introduced in the Android 13 to reduce the overnight rain but there is actually overnight rain of 3% for me even in the stable update. So the next thing they have mentioned is regarding the self repair feature so this I can't show you practically but they have said that they have implemented this feature and after that they have mentioned about increased system stability and general bug fixes. So now coming to the final review of the Android 13 update for the Nothing Phone 1. So I didn't find any kind of major bug present here and even I hope so no kind of major bug pops out before the stable update to all the users. So with this Android 13 update if we compare it with the Android 12 the UI and even the browsing experience everything is much much smoother. I suggest you to do a factory reset after a major update in order to get the maximum efficiency from this update. As you can see, the overall UI, even the app opening and closing animations, everything are much more smoother compared to the Android 12. But I can't say this is the perfect stable update because there are still small small minor bugs which are present even which are not fixed in this stable update. And also the thing which I didn't like in this Android 13 is if you are in Android 12 if you want to access the battery usage we can access directly from the QS tile but now if you want to see the screen on time etc we have to go to settings battery and then we can able to see the screen on time and app usage percentage etc. So regarding the battery life it's like a mixed experience sometimes it performs very well and sometimes it just performs very bad sometimes I got only a screen of time of four and a half hours and with this stable update the battery life is still same so I suggest you to do a factory reset and use the stable update and also when you're trying to take a long screenshot in the apps like telegram etc you can see that the long screenshot is not good so it's not properly optimized I guess for some apps and not only that if you go to the camera app even the shutter lag is not reduced as you can see there is still a shutter lag present in the camera app. 
so another bug is regarding the color tone so if you have uh, using this color tone and if you have set it to warmer or cooler so when the fingerprint sensor is in active that doesn't work and it will revert back to the default mode so similar kind of minor bugs are still present in this table update so accept that everything is fine and even the ram management is fine as you can see i am opening different different tabs and still they are in the memory as you can see i opened the pokemon go app and still the app is in the memory so some users said that when we are using the pip mode there we can see some kind of ui lag so when i'm using the pip mode as you can see it shows 120 fps and changing to 60 fps and even when i'm using the pip mode there is no kind of ui lags that i have seen in the ui I forgot to mention regarding the heating that I observed in this table update. I don't know like in the normal uses also the phone is like a little bit warm near the NFC area. So still they need to do this thermal management properly. So except that I feel that everything is working perfectly. So if I want to give you a overall review I can say that this is a good update like the app opening speed increase smoothness increase and everything is good when compared to the android 12 so the only con which i felt is like there are no kind of major features that they have added for example font change etc and the cons are like the battery life and the heating issue in this phone so that's it for this video guys this is what i felt regarding the stable update of android 13 in the nothing phone one so thank you for watching this video and subscribe